Hello and welcome to another episode of Knowing Me, Knowing Flu. And today, the big news is that we are exceeding our targets for frontline staff and staff overall getting their flu jabs, which is amazing news. That's more than 800 of us, 31%. And an honourable mention to the team at First Hill Rise, more than 74% of them have had their flu jabs, making them the team at SHSC with the most flu jabs so far. And this week, again, our peer vaccinators have been out across our sites doing amazing work to get us vaccinated. And this is turning into a bit of a roll of honour, so let's cue the music and say a special thank you this week to Hester Litton, who's vaccinated more than 80 of us so far that's really great work. But you know, she's just one of the many peer vaccinators we've got this year, going and doing brilliant things week on week. Like B. O'Shea and Kirsty Dallison Perry, look at them doing their thing at Edmund Road. Thank you to all of you. Please keep up the great work. Now, today we've got another little nugget of whimsy for you in this week's Knowing Me, Knowing Flu. Way back when, some Italian boffins decided it was the influence of the stars, the planet and the moon that caused flu. That's where the word influenza comes from. Influenza was first adopted into English parlance then in 1703, meaning that you can forget about your Kardashians and your other Kardashians. It was actually those lights shining in the sky that were the very first influencers. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt Drew. We'll be back next week talking more flu. We'll see you then.